Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a position where you actually want to go ahead and turn on your mobile hotspot on your iPhone. So I'll go and show you exactly how to set that up, which is so basic to do. The first thing you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings panel of your iPhone, and you want to make sure you have a pre-existing some sort of you know cellular plan. If you don't have Verizon or T-Mobile or whatever, well, that's pretty much the main problem. So you have to have some sort of cell connection like that in order to continue on. Once you have your SIM card and put it into your iPhone, what you can do is you will see this personal hotspot little pop-up come up. What you want to do is you want to go and click on personal hotspot and you will come into this specific panel. Now to set up your personal hotspot, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on allow others to join. Now this will remove yourself from any Wi-Fi connection you're connected to. So go ahead and enable that and you will see that my Wi-Fi connection will go and turn off and now I'm connected to my cell connection. If I don't have a strong internet connection, the people who are connecting to this specific hotspot will not have a strong connection either. So please keep that in mind. Now what you want to do there is you want to go ahead and grab your other device, laptop, PC, whatever, and you want to go ahead and open it up to its Wi-Fi settings and you want to go ahead and look for your specific Wi-Fi name. So it says to connect using Wi-Fi, choose your, you know, the user's iPhone, which is my specific iPhone, connect to this one and enter this password. Now, another way to set this up, you want to go ahead and change this password if you want to. If you want, you can keep it the same. It's kind of annoying, but you can change this password to something else that you can remember that you don't have to keep looking over here to, you know, connect it to. And once you go ahead and change it there, then you're good to go. All you have to do now is go into your other device, set up the Wi-Fi that way and connect it to this one, and you're good to go. Now under maximize compatibility, it says it'll pretty much go ahead and limit your iPhone, you know, the output. If it's not a strong signal, it's not even going to give it to you. So you can go and do it if you want to. Typically, I'll just keep it off. But that's pretty much how to do it. As long as you have a cell connection on your iPhone, you should be good to go. And that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.